What's up guys and welcome back for another episode in our Minecraft LP. Um, not a lot has gone on. Uh, another day, you know, a little more Minecraft. We're gonna do the, the couple of days a week kind of thing, like I said in the last go. Hope you guys are having a good day. I had a pretty good day today. Uh, just to give you an update as to what's going on. Like I said, not a lot has gone on here in the, the LP, but I thought today what I would do uh, is... I've gotten to the point where I'm I'm okay. Um, I've been living off of dried kelp, which is uh, very inefficient when it comes to eating, but it's uh, it's what I've got going on. So today I thought uh, I would give you an update, show you what I've got going on with the farms. Um, I did manage to get some some sheepses and some cowses and some chickenses uh, in pens, sort of uh, the sheep and the cows are in a pen, and the chickens are in a hole in the ground. And I thought today what we would do is I would show you the things that I've got going on, and we would put our chickens into a, a better pen uh, so that we can get an unbelievably large amount of eggs. And at the same time, uh, like I said, I'll show you what I've got going inside the little house. Uh, I've done uh, some mining, a little bit of mining. Go figure, it's called Minecraft. And I thought I'd take you down and show you the mine and what's going on down there. There we go. So I flattened off this area here. Uh, this is the little house that we uh, we set up in the last episode. Uh, right here, spawn I think was right over there-ish, something like that. Uh, so I've got a little wheat field going on down here. And as you can see, just give me a moment while I move the microphone closer to my voice. There we go. Uh, I have some reeds set up so I can start getting some uh, some sugar cane, I mean, so I can start getting some paper on the go, because uh, the next step for me is actually going to be enchanting, and you'll see why here in a minute. Uh, this is where I've been harvesting wood. I've just got a bunch of, a little pattern set up. I do some trees and get them going. Uh, here's our, our Bessies. This is our Bessies 1 and 2. I had two of them in there. I bred them once, and then I bred them again. We've got three different colors of sheep. We got a, what, two, uh, We started with two white sheep, two black sheep, and two gray sheep, and now we've got them multiplied, and I've been very careful to breed them with each other. So I'll feed one white sheep, and then I'll feed another white sheep, and they will produce a white sheep baby, and then black and black, and gray and gray. Um, we'll be doing more with them later. This next pen I have set up, I actually have it for pigs. Uh, and actually, just over here, uh, there is a massive amount, or I should say there was a massive amount uh, of livestock. And that's where I had uh, had gotten them all, except for the chickens. I got the chickens elsewhere. Oh, another chicken. But yeah, there's some, some pigs over here, and there's still a sheep over here. But that's the uh, plan will be to get the pigs over in that pen, and then we'll have everything there. Except for horses, which are actually over there, and donkeys which we'll get to. And now that I'm looking at it, wow, I didn't realize. I thought it might have been a jungle temple just from the way I looked at it for just a minute, but it's not. It's just a jungle tree. Um, jungle wood. Mm, not a big fan. Not a big, huge fan of jungle wood, just going to say. Looks like it's about to be night here, uh, so we will sleep through the night. Uh, but for, before that, I will show you. Oh, I might have to take this down one ho whole other layer. Wow, I'm going to need another shovel. Um... Mm, do we need to? No, we kind of don't. I'll build it on this level. It'll be fine. Uh, so it's about to be night. Before that happens, I will take you down into the branch and just show you what's going on. So I went all the way down here to negative 58 is what I believe it is. I was looking at negative 59. There's some copper up there I didn't get. Uh, but I'll show you what I found. Uh, in here, you can't really see it, but it's a giant ravine. Um, and I, I set it up not here. There's there's a spot I set up. I can't remember where it is. It's pretty far down, I believe. A little further here. This is all deep slate. It was a uh, it was rough to get through, but with just stone tools. But we did it. We managed to pull it off. Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Uh, the ravine opens up and goes in here. And the cool thing is, if you look, uh, you see how that iron just kind of goes and works its way down. Uh, further up there, where we were, that I said that it was a ravine, you can see it here. Um, oh, that's that's just, I think that might be some something anyway. Um, it looks like what they're referring to now as an, an iron vein. 
that goes all the way down to the bottom and it works its way through the wall. So it looks like there's just a massive amount of iron in here, uh, which is great for us because I actually quite like working in iron. But the more exciting thing, oh, here it is here. Yeah, it just keeps going and going and going. Uh, but the more exciting thing is I got all the way down here. Like I said, uh, I got down here to 58. Uh, you see here we're on or Y59, I'm sorry. Uh, 50, yeah, we're supposed to stand on 58, look at 59. And that's where we, oh no, this is 60. So yeah, we're supposed to be here. Uh, let me just fill this in real quick. Uh, but when I got down here... I found diamonds, three little diamonds. So I thought what I would do today uh, is, uh, one, we would do, build the chicken pen, but two, uh, I figured why not pick up our first diamonds, guys? I mean, it's, uh, it's a thing. So we've got three diamonds. That's enough for a diamond pick, which is great. Uh, that will be what I do with that, is I will be making a diamond pick. And what I'm going to do is this area, I'm going to hollow out a little bit. Uh, and it is going to become kind of a minecart landing area. It's going to go th uh, a few more high, and I'll start the branch in this area. But I thought I'd bring you down and just show you that. Now we'll bring, begin the long, arduous journey all the way back up. This was a, a time-consuming process. Like I said, I did it with, with stone tools. Uh, when I originally found that ravine a little further up here, I did manage to... What was that? Interesting. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard that. That was freaky. But I did manage to uh, to big all the way down here with, with stone tools. The first time I got to that ravine, I actually managed to mine a little bit of iron. So I managed to get enough for an iron pick and a bucket. And I think I have a couple more pieces, but not a lot. Uh, I also managed to find some redstone on the way down here, which was great. So I have, I think it's 26 or 27 pieces of redstone, which... I have no idea what we're going to do with it. I, I haven't figured that part out yet. Um, I am very much looking forward to creating some automation for my farms. So I don't, again, I, I don't know, guys. I've never done anything with it. So if you have any suggestions as to what I can do with this <laughs> this little bit of early, early game redstone, uh, that would be much appreciated. I'm thinking we're probably going to turn it into pistons, redstone torches and that sort of thing. Uh, I just don't know what we're going to do with it all. Okay, so that's the branch. Let's spider. Uh, let's put our our diamonds away here so we can have it. Yeah, oh, sorry, twenty one redstone is what we've got. Uh, and I've got some sand here, which I kind of want here, like so, because I'm gonna make some stuff out of that. See, I've got a bunch of this deep, uh, this cobble, this deep slate, some regular cobble, this black and gray wool, and I tried to make a bed and didn't know what I was doing. Then I grabbed three different colors of wool, and anyway. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, do, 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 do. I think that's going to be enough. We should probably make another shovel. Let's make two more shovels. Two more shovels, please. There we go. Uh, and then we can put our sticks over here. Okay. And organization is the key to success, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. Um, okay, okay, okay. I think I have everything I need. Let's go build this little chicken thing. Because the little cluckers are in here and they're annoying me. Hello, spider, but it's daytime. You shouldn't be mad at me, right? Ah, jumpy time attack spaces. Ha ha, got to string. Excellent string. And a spider eye. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to... Okay. Hello, shovel. I don't understand why it was there. And I don't understand where it went either. I made two shovels, had a shovel. Oh, it was an arrow. Very good. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is... I think it's... I think water flows seven, if, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just find this out real quick. So let's just take uh, a little bit right here. And let's just count how many it goes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need it to go seven. Seven's plenty. Oh, uh, water, lots of water, okay. So now that we know that, we can plan this out a little better. So uh, we want the center to be, I don't know. We don't really want the center to be there. So let's, let's go here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right? Did I did I count that right? Let me just make sure I counted this right. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four. Can't miss it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Missed it. It'd be here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're here. And this will be our, uh, our our square that we're going to work with. So the next order of business is to dig this out. Do, do, do. And I'm sorry this isn't going a little faster, guys, but for right now it's just it's stone tool season. Uh, that shouldn't take too long. And this is actually a, a pretty simple little how-to uh, quick egg collector kind of deal. And after I have it, I will certainly explain more. Okay, and shovel number one down. Okay. Now, we want this to be... We want this, uh, this sand, so I'm going to replace that. And then what we're actually going to do is we're going to go down another layer. One whole other layer. I don't think we have to, though, do we? Nope, just being the uh, being derp. I'm just being a derp. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see. If I one more. Oh, we screwed it up. Okay. So now, if I go like this, this should flow to where? Right here, I think, is the middle one. Let's, uh, let's grab another bucket of water and just see where our water goes here. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Now, if I go like this, where does it go? Oh, I think we made the, we might have made our thing a little too big. We're going to determine here in a second. Here. Yeah, I think we made it one too big. I think we need, it could only go 11. Yep, so... And no good. No good, so we've got to go like this. I think that'll do it now. So if I go like that... Yeah, it should flow everything into the middle, is, is what I want it to do. Trial and error, guys. That's what I said, said in the, the first episode, is we're going to learn this stuff together. Uh, you and me, which I don't know if you guys know much about Minecraft or not. It's uh, it's irrelevant. Oh no, that's mine. It's irrelevant. I'm uh, I'm learning. Yeah, I think this is gonna do it. I think I think I think this is gonna do it. And then we go here, and then we go one more. We're gonna find out. Like that. Now, everything should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think that's gonna work. Because what we need is we need a middle point. Right? We, we have to have a middle point, that way the water all flows into the middle. So let's, uh, let's do this. I need... I need uh, some water up here. So let's make it a little infinite water source. That way we can do this and not look like a bunch of uh, uh, noobs. Uh, or at least me look like a, a giant-ish noob like I already am. So what I need is... I need the water to flow into the middle. So if I go like this... And like this, where does it take me? It takes me here. It takes me here. Okay. Now if I go here and put it here and here and put it here, where does it take me? It flows me... 
not to that block. Although it kind of looks like it does, it's just not doing it. Let's try it again. Yeah, it doesn't like to go past this point for some reason. Let's do this. Let's take this water away. Let's try it one more time. What a weird spot for the water to stop. But this is fundamentally what I want it to do. I want it to flow like that and like that. But I need it to have a center block, so... Oh wow, I didn't know that did that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see. We need it to have a center block, so in order for it to have a center block... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, I need it to be one more wide. Right? So that's one more wide. So now it goes one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So four and four in the center. And then I need to go one, two, three, four, and five. So this is going to be the center here. So in order for that to happen, I have to go one more this way. But if I do that, I don't think the water makes it to that center spot, does it? Oh, it does. Nope, stop. Stop. Stop with your foolishness. Stop it. Oh, did I take all my water? <laughs> oh, my. There we go. And one more. Like so. So if I go like this throw stuff in there okay it goes right in this is perfect so this is where i want it and what i want it to do is i want it to come down here like this and then i want it to work its way this way so it's gonna i'm gonna add another water right here and that means it'll start flowing seven so let's go one two three four five six Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I want it to drop down and then keep going. So one, two, five, six. Little coal action here. Little little hot coal action. Let's get a torch in here so we don't get spawns right away. I don't even think the spawns happen right away, to be perfectly honest. I just don't know enough about spawning to know for sure. Uh, we definitely want this coal. Coal is a, a commodity right now. I've been converting my wood into coal, which is not uh, ideal. All right, where does this take us? We should be out here very shortly. Okay, so here's the out. Hmm, so I kind of want the collection area to be in a different spot. So we drop down here and we go one, two, three, four, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is going to be the spot. So if we put a hopper here, and yes, I do know about hoppers, and then chest, chest. I don't like that. We're down too low. Uh, we're just down too low. But if I come out here, it wouldn't be so bad. Drop into a hopper, have a chest on the floor. I just have to step into in order to get it. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Where does the water flow to? We need some water. We need a little water. A little water. Let's just see where the water flows to. Uh, real fast, we have to make it day. We have to make day. Making it day. Good, good morning. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Come on. Eh. Oh, I need food. I'm starving to death here. No wonder I can't move around. See, this is the only problem with um with kelp is you have to eat four thousand pieces of it to make it worthwhile. Now, skeleton popped right over there. I'm gonna go get it. And yes, I know there's a creeper there, so you're gonna see my creeper. My creeper attacking skills here. Hey, buddy. Well, 
that didn't work out quite so well, but hey, free blocks. Free blocks. Okay. Where did skeleton arrows? Not what we wanted now. Where'd that spider disappear to? Doesn't matter. Okay. I'll fix that up in a minute. Let's get over here and let's put our second water in. So it's going to flow and drop into here. And then I want to water... How am I going to keep the... Hmm. I need a something. Okay, so a secondary water. It's here. And then flows this way. And how far out do we flow? It's going to flow all the way to here. So if I drop it... Yeah, so this, will, this is actually going to work out perfect. So if I go hopper... Chest, I'm all set. So now I just need a chest and a hopper. Uh, of which I actually have the stuff to make. So now... It, now it's just a question of can we get our chickens in here? Do we have seeds? We don't. We'll just have to go get a couple of seeds here, guys. And while I'm at it, let me just put some of this stuff away. Like so. Uh, this coal I'm actually going to toss in here. So yeah, I've been making charcoal. Uh, and then using the charcoal... Let's just do it this way. To make torches. Because torches is something you always, always need. Uh, and I've been making lots and lots and lots of torches. Uh, as you can see, lots of of torches. There's my sticks. Uh, string, eyes, and I think arrows are over here. Bones. And yeah, we've got some iron so we can make a hopper. Okay. We need seeds. A uh, little bit of seeds. Okay. Let's see if we can get this to, uh, to do what needs to happen here. Hello, chickens. Come on. Come on, all you little lovelies. Come on. Let's go. Come with me. Come on in. Come on. Now, what happens when you go there? So if I go like this, what do you do? Nothing, right? You're stuck? Yeah, we did it, guys. Chickens in a hole. Awesome. Do we get a bunch of eggs? Couple of eggs. Let's, uh, let's get this on the go. There, look at that. We did it. We made an automated chicken thing. Now, the question is, do the chickens fall through? I don't think they do. It doesn't look like it. And I haven't got any eggs yet. So let's make a hopper. See if I can figure out how to make a hopper. Uh, cauldron. No, I don't... Uh, I don't see hopper. It'll be here. There's the cauldron again. I don't see a hopper. I have no idea how to make a hopper. I must need a chest. I would say that's probably it. I probably need a chest. Like this. And then I probably... Yeah, there's the hopper. So give me a hopper. Excellent. And then can I have two more chests? Sweet. Okay. So now the way this works... Well, got some eggs, I believe. Get this stuff out of the way. I'm going to need you and you. So I'm going to want to go like this. I'm going to want a chest, but not like that. Okay. Chest, chest, and hopper. Okay, so now we should have... Eggs flow there, and go into uh, the hopper, but not the chest. So that means the hopper is not in the right position. So let's try it again. Shift click into the chest, throw the eggs, they go into the hopper, and they're not going into the chest. I'm confused, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's... Uh, <laughs> let's stop our flow of water for just a second here so there's that and now we want this to go into there so now if I put something into this 
it should go into the chest. There, so now it's doing exactly what we want for absolutely... I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense as to why it's doing it for me now, and it didn't do it for me earlier. Now, if I put this here, can I still access my chest? No, I can't. Okay, so that can't go there. That's just going to have to be the way it is. And I'm okay with that. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've gone and done a thing. I didn't even realize that we were going to be able to do a thing. Now, how am I going to breed these little buggers? I don't have enough blocks. I need more blocks. Give me more dirt blocks. Give me some more dirt. 26 dirt's lots of dirt. Give me the 26 dirt. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. And then... One, two... Maybe one more. Like so. And then we can... Yeah, like that. Because that'll go down into the hopper. And then I can just come out here and go, Hey guys! And just feed them like so. And I might do something crazy and come out here on slabs instead of these. That be that way they're not it's not so high. But for now, uh, this totally does the trick. Totally 100% does the trick. Let's fill our hole in. Come down here. Have a look. There's our dirt. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming and hanging out with me today while I struggled aimlessly, or not aimlessly, but I struggled very, very much so to create for you and for me this automated chicken thingamabobber. Um, yeah, if you liked enjoying watching me struggle today, don't forget to, uh, to hit like on the video. Thanks very much for coming to hang out with me today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. GG's, everybody.